Hey, what's up? Did you hear the news? Zapier just released their interfaces and tables beta program not too long ago, and it may or may not come as a surprise to you, but this is an absolute game changer. Think about Kobe Bryant and Scottie Pippen combining back in the Chicago Bulls in the 90s, how everything changed. It changed the game. This is exactly doing that. So Interfaces by Zapier is going to be a replacement tool for maybe your Kanban boards. Maybe you have an e-commerce website and you're looking for a chat assistant. This is an absolute game changer and has the ability to be trained. So with that being said, let's dive into it. What you'll be able to do with interfaces is you'll be able to create components. Components are items that live on the page. So think of like a widget or a uh, embed on your website that you might have. A component is the same exact thing. Now, components come in many different forms. So for example, this is a component uh, that is a chat bot. But you also have other components. Maybe you want to embed a table. Maybe you're working with an internal team and you want to have a display of information and data resources for everybody to be able to reference and go to. You could create a data table for that. There's also things like Kanban boards. So if you're a project manager or product manager, you'll be able to organize and help you track things uh, in, in standalone. I say this is game changer because if you think about how project and product managers work, they're oftentimes looking at things like backlogs, scheduling, task, actions, but they're using multiple tools in multiple windows, right? If you look at my browser right, right now, not this one here, but one on my other screen that you can't see, so you may not be able to look at it, there's probably about 50 different tabs open. So what interfaces would allow you to do as a project product manager is build a Kanban board. But let's say you leverage things like AI. You could also have an AI chat assistant plugged directly into that page. And then alternatively, you could also create a directory of, of res, you know, resourceful links. So I can literally create a page that will help me better manage my time as a project product manager. So I could have links to my Jira, to my Confluence, to my um, my uh, Whimsical, my uh, Mira, uh, my uh, Figmas. I could have link cards to all those things. And it's super, super easy to set up. So the way that you would do this is I can go ahead and click add Kanban board. My Kanban board, I can go ahead and add it without data currently. So if we want to go ahead and do that, there we go. So let's go ahead and add this. And um, I'm going to actually create a, a new table here. So there's my table. I'm going to connect it to this one. Let's see here. So we'll be able to go ahead and, and add that add it without data. And we'll configure that later on. But we'll go ahead and also do this. We'll go ahead and add... Um, site links, right? Or link cards as they call them here. And this could be useful links. So as a product manager, useful links, think, think things um, like, um, again, Jira, right? If you use Jira quite a bit, you could also say here in Jira, these are uh, specifications because maybe that's where you're writing your specs. Your link text would say go to uh, Jira. And then you will link it here, right? You could also add an emoji if you wanted to. So if we wanted to go ahead and add emoji for Jira uh, or anything like that, maybe you have a product board. Um, let's say board. Uh, let's see. Task. Calendar. Let's just do calendar for time's sakes here. Um, so we'll go ahead and add. There's Jira. I can add more though. So like I can go ahead and say open link in new tab if I wanted to or open natively. We'll redirect it, go to new tab, but I could add more links. So I can also go ahead in here and say Confluence. Um, in Confluence, you're going to have uh, support documentation, right? And uh, you'll go ahead and have link. So go to Confluence. And then you can also go ahead and add things like 
like I was saying, Miro, right? So maybe you use Miro for um, your wire framing or your mock up. So we could go ahead and say wire frame, link text, go to uh, Miro, and then uh, you'll have that link. You could also add an emoji again if you wanted to. But you could go ahead and add all sorts of cool links that are going to help you as a product project manager go ahead and manage your time more effectively. So no more sifting through a million tabs or having everything open. You could have everything consolidated to one dashboard so that you could easily navigate and complete your task a lot quicker. So we'll be able to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and say done. And now I have my components configured. You could go full width if you wanted to. So you see how it stretches it out. Um, yeah. So now we have all our useful links. We also have a component here. So that's our Kanban board. Let me go ahead and remove this one because I added multiples there. So we could go ahead and select the table um, from here. So if I go select table, we'll go ahead and select one. And then um, access dynamic filters. I don't need filters. Card title, name, card description, name. And uh, we're good. So here we go. It would add our table into here. Uh, so we can go create, edit, uh, and we'll say create, delete. So if I'm working in a Kanban board, um, I'm probably going to be um, adding and editing or removing action items that I need to complete. So you'll have that configured there. And as a product project manager, maybe you also want to be able to manage uh, or ask questions to AI, right? AI is becoming uh, the most useful resource, whether you're having struggling or having problems or struggling with code or whatever it might be, you could leverage AI. So you could build your assistant. So you could say a my personal uh, assistant. And then we could say, ask anything. You're an AI chat bot. You're a helpful assistant uh, to Ernest Enriquez. He can answer any questions he has about product management. You could also have this um, synced to your OpenAI account. There we go. Creativity. You could have it predictable, random. You have all sorts of controls here. So we're going to uh, scale this to full width. Uh, it might look a little funny there, but you can align and arrange yours how you want. And then the best part about this is that, uh, yeah, so we have our chat assistant there. Um, no issues. You could also connect Zaps. So maybe you want to go ahead and use the personal chatbot assistant uh, on this page to create tasks or action items for you uh, in Kanban, right? You can uh, go ahead and set that up as an action. So when a user gets a response, you could have some button text that says uh, assign action right and then we can go ahead and run a zap and the zap would basically be to add that action to that table so uh really cool uh, so that will create the action and the zap for me when i click on that automatically uh and it'll redirect me directly to that zap so that i can go ahead and continue to configure this so the action would be to add to a um, a zap table uh, so i can go ahead and create a record um, and then we can go ahead and click on create. We'll select our table ID and then essentially we'll just plug in all the details to these fields. So super, super cool. You have the option of embedding this if you wanted to, right? You can embed this into another website if you so please to. You can have this as a pop-up or standard or the other option that you have is that you could actually leave this as a standalone um, page uh, and you can see that interface here. So if I go to uh, this interface, it's going to basically take me to um, that option. So here it is. How can I help you? I need to assign myself a task to complete by tomorrow at 8 p.m. What, what, what type of task? Um, I need to draw up mockups for our new feature. There you go, right? So it'll assign this task. I could have this zap add that directly to my table. And it is very, very, very intuitive and seamlessly communicate. So homepage, uh, again, we could have this set. So let's go here. 
Let's just refresh this one time so you can see the new layout. Here we go. So now we have all of our useful links. You could give these custom domains if you wanted to. So down here, if you have a custom domain, you can upgrade uh, to the business setting and you can give this a custom domain uh, specifically for you. So you could hide that domain. You could have access to this. You could also um, share it with um, people with passwords, right? So I can share this with my internal team uh, and have this completely built out. But if you haven't done so, head over to interfaces.zapier.com and subscribe today. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this.